It is, as I sit and speak here now, it is talking to a wonky camera. It is uh, the day before Christmas Eve. This is still on the, there you go. There you go, folks, there you go. It is Sunday, the day before Christmas Eve. And um, I thought, as the wife is at work, she's had to go into work today, uh, the child is still in bed and uh, it's chucking down. The washing's been done, tumble dries whirling around. Sun ain't out, so many solar panels ain't kicked in yet. Costing me a bloody fortune. Um, I thought I'd do a little bit of a review or a rant or my opinion of uh, TV that is coming up because I found out the other day that the BBC, the clever lot down at the Beeb, have um, decided not to put Doctor Who on on Christmas Day. Unbelievable. So what I've done is I've got and bought the TV Times. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look through and uh, see what's on for the next few days or so. Uh, to see what joys and offerings these TV companies have um, have for us in store. So, so I'll be, basically I went straight to the BBC uh, BBC One to see what they have uh, on offer, uh, what they have um, stopped uh, Doctor Who for. But then I thought, no, hold on, let's go back to Christmas Eve and do it properly. So, Christmas Eve, folks. Now, um, they've got something called All Together Now Celebrities. Is that that new thing with Jerry Hallowell where somebody sings and it's, yes, Jerry's in it and they've got to judge people. That sounds um, original, doesn't it, folks? People standing on a stage, singing at you, and then somebody giving their opinion. That's very, um, very opportunity knocks. Can you remember opportunity knocks? If you are too young to remember opportunity knocks, uh, Google it with the uh, Huey Green. When he pull a, pull a, who did Bob Geldof marry? Oh, truth, she was on Big Brother. Paula. Oh, I can't be bothered to look for her. I'm not wasting my Wi-Fi on. Um, but yeah, I think that were her dad, weren't it, Huey Green? And then we had New Faces came along. So this is not an original idea. After you've had The X Factor or, uh, what was the other one? Um, not X Factor. Pop Idol. So this is not an idea. The BBC have decided to churn this rubbish out again. So uh, that's it. Then, then you've got the East Enders or the Dead Enders giving us more life and happiness. Um, then on to, uh, they've got something called Click and Collect. That might be worth a look. Stephen Merchant's in it and Asim Trowder. Yeah, don't know who he is, but that might be okay. That might be worth a look. Uh, the Beeb have got uh, your normal carols from Kings and uh, Victoria Wood. Now, it's something else again, it's all, I don't know, they just seem to repeat, they don't seem to have anything original. Um, Universal Challenge, original. Um, ITV, more bloody soaps of real life episodes of soaps. Um, Emmerdale, Corey. Tim has a nightmare before Christmas. Don't we all? Don't we all? I suppose that is true to life then, but whatever. Um, Bad Moon Feast Festive Cheer, a comedy starring Jack D. Jack D, is he still knocking around? Uh, then at nine o'clock, we have Keith and Paddy show, and they are basically setting up the remake of Gremlins. And then guess what? Guess what's after Keith and Paddy doing the remake of Gremlins? It's the original Gremlins. Brilliant. That took some thinking. Then it's Carol's. Uh, Miracle on 34th Street. Uh, a remake. 
starring Richard Attenborough. 19, see, I'm not the, these old films. These, have you ever seen uh, A Wonderful Life? Right, I never, I never watched it. I never seen it for years and years and years. And my missus kept saying, "Oh, we've got to watch it." I'm thinking, I don't want to watch it because I'm not a big fan of Christmas movies, to be fair. And listener in that, I could probably go around the 18th of December and watch one, and then Boxing Day, anything after that, no. And anyway, Christmas come around, and she kept, she said, "Oh, you've got to watch it. You've got to watch it." It was brilliant. It's one of the best films I've ever seen. So if you haven't seen a what is a wonderful life you have got to watch it it's absolutely brilliant and i really hope nobody touches it and tries to remake it apart from that there you go so uh miracle on 34th street i might give that a watch no i don't know because it's not the original is it it's a remake mm. then it's goggle box of 2018 so that's a cheap load of money isn't it just piecing all bits together i've stopped watching goggle box it gets on my nerves now it's like they all think they're all something special. People, you know, your everyday Joe sat there in front of the camera talking. Who does that? Who just sits there giving their opinion out? Anyway. Um, and then I think I'll just write uh, Channel 5 off that night. It's just Michael Bublé back for Christmas. Hmm. So, but now this is the important bit. We're actually moving. Oh, God, I don't normally do that. Let me think. Turn the page. Now, Christmas Day. Now then, um, we'll go from half past five, because that's when most people are watching it. You've probably had your dinner and stuff by then. You're all probably arguing, uh, falling asleep in the chair, so you're not really bothered. That's probably why TV is so crap at the Christmas, because people fall asleep in the chair. Um, they've got the Strictly Come Dancing special. Anybody really bothered about like Strictly? I know people are, but no, can't they just think of something original, more original? Yeah, I mean, Strictly's been going like 10, 12 years now and it's just i don't know it just seems to be lazy television it's, you know oh then you've got that posh prat michael mcintyre with his wobbly head some kind of jibber jabber oh i'm so funny i walk up and down the stairs and I'll talk. <laughs> no you're not funny michael go and get mugged yeah i don't i can't no in fact that's what they've done isn't they they've taken doctor who off for michael mcintyre's big christmas special Featuring Chris Kamara. I like Chris Kamara. It makes me funny. I like him on his on the football. And that's where he is. But on Michael McIntyre, they've taken the Daleks off or the Cybermen, all that, for Chris Kamara. It's raining, folks. And then we go on to the uh the feel-good factor of Call the Midwife Christmas special. Now, when Call the Midwife first came out, and it was set in the 40s, late 40s, just after the war, weren't it? Um, I really used to enjoy that. It was brilliant. Um, it was something new. I like the period kind of things, that mid-century stuff. And um, I really enjoyed it. And then they started making it all doom and gloom, you know, I mean... It's just like babies dying and flaminibites and all that. And I, and I know it happened, but I don't want to see that. I want on a Sunday afternoon or a Sunday night, I want to be uplifted for the week ahead, not thinking about some, oh, Jesus. So that's that. So oh, and then after that, we've got more dead enders with their real life thing. They never mention bloody Sadiq Khan in EastEnders, do they? I, I, I don't know. Tell me if they do. Tell me if they mention Sadiq Khan. I'd love to know. <sighs> Slater's family's Christmas Day celebrations fall apart. <sighs> Just rubbish. Mrs. Brown's Boys Christmas special. Now, that's, um, that's entertaining as such, but even that's getting old hat. Uh, Mrs. Brown walking around and shouting feck off and having a fight with the Christmas tree. It's, um, it's, it must be odd. Have you ever seen the originals of Mrs. Brown's um, before it actually came onto the BBC? Go onto YouTube. I don't know if you watch YouTube or anything. Um, but go onto YouTube and just type in Mrs. Brown's voice and it's got the original setting island um, Comedy and it's more, it's raw, it's more. I don't, 
it, it's not so well produced. It's not so shiny and polished. It's it's brilliant. And that and I tell you what, the BBC should actually play that, repeat that, stick it on BBC Four or something, or on BBC Three. It is really really good. That's what we should be watching. Um, so then you go over to BBC Two um, after Mrs Brown's Boys, and it's just rubbish after that. Um, you've got uh, more University Challenge, and then you've got Mary Berry's Country House at Christmas. Now, why do these companies put cookery programmes on Christmas Day that's about Christmas cooking? Surely that should be done the week before, then you can sit down, you can watch it, and then you can think, oh, I like that idea. I'll do that. But now if somebody's sitting there watching it, you think, I've got to wait 364 days now for that, to prepare for that. What the bloody hell is that all about? Uh, Dad's Army, lazy TV again. I love Dad's Army. It's brilliant, but it's on gold. It's always on gold, and you can always fish it, fish it up on catch up. So I don't understand why that's uh, that's being shown. I mean, I know there's not everybody has got Sky or BT or Amazon or Netflix, but I just can't see the point. Um, Upstart Crow, don't know what that is, don't want to know what it is. Kenneth Branagh and Lily Cole. Um, well, it's not a repeat. Oh, it's William Shakespeare. Oh, it's that in T. It's Lily William Shakespeare thing. Yeah, I'll give that a miss. Uh, Merry Christmas with Gregory Porter and Friends. Jazz vibe. The Duchess, Kira Knightley. I like Kira Knightley. She's all right, to be fair, uh, but I won't be watching that. Um, right, then we go over to ITV. Then it's Paul O'Grady from the. Uh, this is all. Uh, early evening from folks. I'm not doing the old bloody stuff. Um, Paul O'Grady for the love of dogs. I like Paul O'Grady. Um, I used to like the love of dogs, but it, I can't be doing with the sadness of it sometimes. I don't want to see sadness. Life's sad enough as it is, you know. Oh, I don't know. Uh, more bloody Emmerdale and Corey. Oh, Jesus. And they're on for an hour each. Emmerdale and Corrie on for an hour each on Christmas Day. What is that all about? That is complete rubbish. And none of it's true to life. The truth about Gina Tay, the Met Cards apart. It's all doom and gloom. In the old days when you used to, well, I mean, I used to watch uh, Corrie. I can't say I used to watch it, but my mum used to watch it and... Um, who was Reg? Reg Holdsworth. He was brilliant. And the, the butcher, um, the butcher. He's dead, isn't he? But they're all. They were funny. Life was funny. I mean, when we go to work, we have a laugh at work. You know, we, we're taking the Mickey and having a bit of a laugh and trying to get through the day. We're not doom and gloom. But there is some there at doom and gloom, and who do make you want to stab yourself in the throat with a bloody piece of four two or something? But no, life isn't all doom and gloom. Get over it. Right, and then at quarter past nine, somebody's come off with a one-off drama of Jane Torn and Christopher Dean's humble beginnings and family life in Nottingham. Really? Are we really that interested in bloody Torval and Dean? How they were shagging each other at the beginning and then falling out, but they still made it through and won gold by dancing some kind of bloody circus thing and then a bolero. I don't know. It just seems lazy TV to me. And that's on for two hours. Two hours on Christmas Day. Two hours of them spinning around in a, on ice and on a bus and in a van. Jesus. Wet. He died for this. No, he didn't. That's Easter. He was born for this. Easter, Jesus. All right, and then we've got Bridget Jones's diary. When, what year was that? 2001. 2001 and they're putting that on Christmas Day. Right, let's go over to Channel 4. Muppet Christmas Carol. The only Muppets on here at the moment are the people who have actually made this bloody Christmas thingy up. Um, Lost in New York. Uh, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. They haven't even put the best one on. They haven't even put the best Home Alone on. What's all that about? They'd have been better off putting Home Alone on and then overload two so people could follow the story. Oh, have you seen that uh, the Google advert 
uh, for the little Google pod thing that they do, like the uh, Amazon Echo. If you've not seen it, if you watch YouTube, I don't know if you all go on YouTube, but if you watch it, just type in the uh, Google Christmas advert 2018. Uh, then it's the Christmas bore off. Oh, welcome four bakers from previous series. Festive theme challenge. Oh, jeez. It's just... Doesn't anybody... I bet when they have these meetings, I bet they think, oh, no, let's have an... Oh, no, let's do Bake Off. A Christmas Bake Off. <sighs> First date's Alan Carr. Alan Carr running around with... Oh, he got bloody Danny Dyer on it going, Packer, and bloody other stupid Cockney lingo. And that's nothing against Cockneys or anything. That's just Danny Dyer. He's boring and old at and all, isn't he? It's all... All right, tree cow. Trying to make up his own Cockney rhyming slang. Uh, we'll go over to Channel 5 and uh, Brit Britain's favourite Christmas hits. Oh, that's an original idea again, isn't it? Let's have people talking about bloody Christmas hits. Uh, and Tommy Cooper in his own words. Uh, greatest Christmas moments, right? So that's really So we'll just nip on to Boxing Day. Boxing Day should be a good day. Um, and sometimes it's better than uh, the actual Christmas Day. Uh, but there again, it sometimes ain't. So we'll have to have a look at this. Uh, 540 on BBC One, the BFG, the big friendly giant. Hmm. That might be worth a watch, to be fair. BFG. It's not uh, It's not a repeat. It's one of them, again, that's been on Sky and BT and all them things, isn't it? So uh, then we've got something new. They've actually uh, done something original again. They've got David Walliams out. Have they? Yes, David Walliams. Yes, it's a pod... The Midnight Gang. They're always worth the watch, aren't they? But they're normally on Sky. And Sky have normally took them. I mean, in fact, I've not really done on Sky, have I? I've not. Um, Why well, is that? Because it's on the free view thing, isn't it? So it's uh, it's uh, yeah. So, um, but we'll just do. We'll just stick with the main five channels. Um, the Midnight Gang, uh, the posh boarding school, Tommy Barks on the journey of a lifetime after waking up in a children's ward at Lord Font Hospital, based on the book by David Walliams. Yeah, they're all right. They're easy watching, isn't they? They're kind of things. The kids read the books and they'll watch this. So, yeah, that's all right. Oh, look at that, EastEnders. So that's three days of EastEnders, two hours of EastEnders. Unbelievable. Now, this is something I will want to watch. It's the ABC Murders. Uh, the update, 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 update. Oh, God, I can't say it. They've basically got the ABC Murders and remade it on BBC One. The Agatha Christie novel starring John Malkovich. Uh, Malkovich. Uh, the story takes place in 1933, set in the Belgian sleuth on a trail of a serial killer who seemingly sets his uh, victims in the locations of the death out of, alphabetically. Um, I do like an Agatha Christie. Um, they have actually started not being true to the actual book itself and turning it. I think there was one last year. Um, they didn't show it at Christmas because the bloke out of white gold got arrested for rape in America, but he didn't uh, he didn't do it or something. So they had to change it with another actor and couldn't do it till Easter. Um, yeah, uh, I do like an Agatha Christie. In that one, they, they actually changed the ending. Um, but uh, no, this will be okay. ABC Murders. It's a three-parter though, so they've done like a one, two, three on three to consecutive nights, I think. So I firstly, I will be saving all them up and watching them all together with me and the wife. We will be drinking and eating nuts. The wife likes the nuts in her. That's uh, eating Stilton and stuff, getting gout, drinking port. Um, so then we pop over to BBC Two, and it's University Challenge again. Brilliant. Uh, and it's Dad's Army. Brilliant. Um, they've really thought about this. Now, they've really thought about this as well. They've done the more common Wise Christmas show from 1971. <sighs> then we've got the Lost Tapes of Morecambe and Wise. Hmm. Then the Morecambe and Wise ties, the Morecambe and Wise show, the Lost Tapes, two of two. Uh, and then we've got Ken Dodd. And then we've got Bloody Torval and Dean, The Perfect Day. Oh, it's true. They just... <sighs> They've not really, so basically then, from 25 past 6 to, <coughs> to quarter past 12, it's just old stuff. Even Dragon Den's a repeat. So that saved the licence fee payer a few quid. So we'll pop over now to ITV. 
Uh, we've got the Chase Celebrity Special. Who's on that? Jamie Theakston, Faye Toza, Ben Cohen, Sarah Pascoe. Not really bothered about any of them. I can't really say they're any celebrities to me. Um, then it's Emmerdale. Oh, where would we be without our soaps? And then it's Corey. Oh, where would we would be without our real-life realistic, uh, realistic soaps? And then the ITV have done something really entertaining here. From 2008, they've put the Quantum of Solace. <laughs> A 10-year-old film on Boxing Day. One of the things where they could really drag some uh, uh, viewers in, they've put something on that's 10 years old. In the old days, you used to have to wait because there wasn't a thing like a video and that. You used to have to wait for the to go around and come on. Um, but that's just ridiculous. And uh, then we've got Love Actually. Love Actually. That's uh, 2003. What is going off? I, I cannot believe it. Right, so we'll go over to Channel 4, Mrs. Doubtfight. Oh, the Crystal Maze Royal, uh, the Crystal Maze Christmas Special, Celebrity Christmas Special. Deborah Meenan, Jamie Lang, Frankie Bridge. Chris Kamara. Oh, Chris Kamara's doing well this year, anyway. Uh, then it's the big fat quiz, the Green Mile. It's just, it just. Oh. Then we've got Dog Rescuers on Channel Five with Alan Davis. Oh, we've got an Agatha Christie now. Now, Channel Five. We've just been saying about um, Agatha Christie. Um, apparently, they've made on Channel Five. They did one last year, and I think it was the. Um, oh. Can't remember the name of it. The actual book was called Ten Little Black People. And uh, they had to change it for obvious reasons. Um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, they did that last year on um, Channel 5. But this year they're doing the Agatha, Mur Agatha and Truth of Murder. Um, apparently, it's when Agatha Christie actually went missing. And they've made out she's gone and saved, uh, solved a crime. She's actually gone and solved it instead of writing about it. So that's 10 past 6 on Channel 5 on Boxing Day. That might be worth a look. Um, then we've got the Dog Rescuers with Alan Davis. See, more again, I don't... Oh, I know they're doing the good things and they are bringing it to... I don't want to see sad things. It does me in. If Right. Animals in pain and distress, I can't handle. Starving kids and bloody stuff everywhere else. doesn't bother me. I know that sounds heartless, but that's just the way I am. Hurt an animal, I'll come and stamp on your fingers. Um, Rich House, Poor House Christmas Special. No, not interested. Dirty Dancing from 1987. Channel 5. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly whip on to the uh, day after Boxing Day, which is Thursday, isn't it? Right, Thursday, let's have a quick read through this because I've been doing this for over 20 minutes now and it's getting boring. Um, Mastermind uh, Special, Sean Ryder. Now that might be worth a look. Thursday, 7 o'clock, BBC One. Sean Ryder. Du -du 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 that weren't him, was it? That was best. Twist him in melon, man. Um, Sean Ryder, Arabella Weir, Steph Reed, Paralympian, and Sean Flesh from Country Folk. That was going to be worth it. Put that in your diary, folks. Uh, then we've got EastEnders. Then Oldby City, Christ best Christmas ever. Oh, no, not doing that. And you've got your ABC murders from the night before, part two. Uh, 10.25, meet the Fockers. Uh, so then we go over to BBC Two. Oh, Dad's Army. I ain't seen that for a while. And uh, University Challenge, MasterChef. Oh, I can't be doing that. MasterChef. Uh, the Snow Wolf, A Winter's Tale, Dramatised Natural History Following the Alpha Male. See, that could be sad again as well. I can't, oh, I don't know, it's just me. Frankie Boyd's World, New, New World Order. The NWO is all Kogan, Kevin Hall and Scott. No, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. That's the NWO, not Frankie Boyle. Da, 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 da. You're all thinking, what the hell am I on about? Just took NWO, Hulk Hogan, you'll work it out. Uh, a year in the life of, uh, a year in the life of a year. Special guest stars, Jerry Jacob. Oh, I can't be doing that. Right. No activity Christmas special. Oh, right, so we go straight over to ITV. Uh, Emmerdale, You've Been Framed. That's a repeat. Uh, and then Skyfall. Another Skyfall from 2012. So that's the little theme here, then, isn't it? They're just going to chuck out James Bond films at us. Uh, then Kenny Everett, The World According to Kenny Everett. The repeat. Uh, Channel 4, Secret Life of Five-Year-Olds, 
Super Shoppers, 96 hours in Jordan. No, that is not Katie Price. That is the actual uh, place. Uh, then Gogglebox, repeated from Monday. Paddington Sp uh, uh, Channel 5, World's Strongest Man. Paddington Station, 24-7 at Christmas. Uh, Michael Palin's North Korea Special Edition. That might be worth a look. Michael Palin is very interesting. Uh, I know it's a repetitive thing where he goes to countries and sees that. Uh, but in the years gone by, there used to be a bloke called Alan Wicker. Uh, they used to be on on a Monday night on ITV, 9 o'clock. And uh, he was quite good, Alan Wicker. Our health and safety blokes uh, like Alan Wicker. He's all over the world. Uh, so, um, so that's it, basically, folks, uh, for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day and the day after. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this little uh, TV review kind of thing of the uh, upcoming week. It is only the five channels. Um, if you start going on anymore, it gets boring. But uh, if you like that, and you want me to do it again, let me know. Uh, I promise, because uh, with my shift pattern, I won't be able to do it all the while. But if you do like it and you want me to do it again, just uh, leave the comments on the bottom. All right, folks, ladies.